In, I got my home gym here, and it's a cluttered mess. I have no shelving. If only I had a nice, beautiful shelf to organize my stuff in, just like this. All right, so it's done. Hey, look at how organized it is. It's pretty sturdy. I can put lots of weights on it. This is like a 70-pound kettlebell, and I've been able to organize everything for the home gym. Now, I'm going to show you how to build this thing. All right, so you can go pick up your lumber. Uh, either at Lowe's or Home Depot, and I like to go to these places because they'll cut the lumber for you. So what you're going to need for this, for this project is you're going to need to get nine eight-foot two-by-fours, and I like to get the wood that's been treated a little better so it doesn't get too many splinters as you uh, are going in and uh, using the shelf. So you're going to get nine eight-foot two-by-fours and one sheet four by eight sheet of plywood that's 23 slash 32 on the thickness. And with those nine two by fours, you're gonna end up cutting four of them into six foot pieces. And then you're gonna have eight two by fours that are cut into uh, four foot pieces. And then you will have eight pieces that are cut into 21 inch pieces. Now to make the cuts, exactly what, what I ended up doing is uh, your four six footers. You can get a, out of one eight foot two by four. You can get four six footers, and with that excess, you can cut four more twenty one inch pieces to to get your four. And then I take one eight foot two by four and cut four, cut it into four twenty one inches. And that'll give you your total of your uh, eight. Um, 21 inch 2x4s and then with my 4 footers to get my 8 4 footers I just take the extra the additional 4 8 foot 2x4s and cut them right in half and that gives you your uh, your 8 4 foot 2x4s and then also you need about 5 pound box of um, 3 inch wood screws and then your plywood, your uh, four by eight sheet of plywood is gonna be cut right down the middle, have to make four equal parts that are gonna be two foot by four foot, which are gonna be the shelving. All right, so besides cutting the wood, get it all, getting it all ready, I like to um, prepare the spots where the screws are gonna go into, into, into the wood. So instead of screwing directly into the wood, what I like to do is pre-drill some holes, because when you, screw directly into the wood, sometimes it splits the wood and then you crack the end of it. So, but if you drill a hole and use a drill bit, probably about half the size of your screw, and preset those holes, then it, it lessens the chance of you splitting the wood. So what you're going to do, if, if you look in right here, you're going to be drilling directly into the ends of the four foot pieces and all of the ends of the 21 inch pieces. Now you'll see later as we piece it together why I have uh, organized the screw holes the way I did. It's so the screws will kind of miss each other as the pieces come together. Um, on your four footers, you're going to have four holes for your screws are going to go. And on your 21 inches, you will have the three. Now, I've already pre measured right here, but as you start drilling away to make it quicker, I, make, I made these little templates that make it easier so you know exactly where your drill holes are going to go. So if you want to make your own, template, what you're going to do is uh, measure it first on your board um, and then you figure out the distance and then you can get a piece of cardboard to lay over it to measure the holes. So corner from corner, it's three quarter inch, three quarter inch is the distance in on each hole and then from here to the innermost hole you're looking at two and a half inches in. So for your first hole Measure down three quarter of an inch, mark it. Measure out two and a half inch, mark it. And then inward from this side is also three quarter of an inch. This is for the four footer. Now from the 21 incher, it's only gonna be three holes. Same, you're measuring in three quarter of an inch from the ends and out to the center one um, is two and a half inch. And from right here, just measure your two by four, make sure that one is, is dead center. So now what we're gonna do is use our template to drill, pre-drill all of the holes 
um, into the ends. And what I'm going to do is drill, set the hole, I'm going to drill completely through this board to have a hole that is half the size of the screw to assist the screw to go in and connect to the other board that it's screwing into. Alright, we have, I've got all the pieces have been cut and all the holes have been drilled. And now we got to make our markings to make sure that we're, we're uh, connecting all the pieces in the right spot so we have a nice equal, equal uh, square shelf all around. So this is going to end up being a six foot high shelf with four different uh, shelvings on it. And the shelving spacing, you can decide to do it however you want. Um, but what I decided, um, pretty much I'm going to have about a foot and a half space between each shelf to, to meet my needs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I got my four six footers all lined up and so I'm going to mark them all together at the same time to make sure I have an equal mark so as I start to screw the all the other pieces on they all line up evenly. Now two of the six footers I'm going to mark on the two inch side of the two before and then the other two I'm going to mark on the, on the four inch side because You'll see when we put this together that some boards will screw into, uh, some of the braces will screw into the two inch side, some will screw into the four inch side. So where you put your line makes it easier. So I've got all, I've got to line up all my boards nice and even, straight line. And then my first mark, I'm, I'm making a mark to where I know when I line up the 21 inch pieces to screw them in, then I will line the bottom of the 21 inch brace up against the line I make. So I'm going to do my first line right at the base of where I would end up screwing in this first 21 incher. Now I'm going to make all my marks of where I think I want to put each shelf. So, for me, I'm going to go at about a foot and a half for each one. So I'll make a little tick mark at a foot and a half all the way down. So I'm doing one at 16 inches. And then the next one at, we'll go six and a foot. The next one at 36 inches. Go down a foot six inches and the next one at 54 inches that will give me one, two, three, four shelves that's, that's about adequate spacing for what we need give me a straight edge so I can make the proper marking and make sure it's nice and straight double check my boards I got a little lip here then I've got all my boards pushed up against to make sure they're all lined up straight. I have a little whip that I'm able to push all the boards against. If you don't have a nice little whip on your table, you can always get a board and uh, get a clamp and C-clamp it down so you have that nice straight edge. It's just a quicker way to make sure that all the lines are even. Another alternative would be to individually measure each board by itself. I'm doing it this way, it's a little quicker. That's all lined up, and then I'm going to draw, draw all my lines. Oops, can you turn it off? Okay, so like I was saying, I've got two of the uh, the six foot pieces marked on the four inch side and then the other two are marked on the two inch side because that's where I'm going to be um, lining up the, uh, the 21 inches as, as I screw them in. So now we will start with screwing together the legs for the 21 inch side width piece and then after that we'll screw together the four foot wide piece and then we'll piece those together. Alright now we're ready to drill 
start setting in uh, the 21 inch pieces. Um, so what I'm going to do is I got my right angle tool to make sure I've got the perfect angle on setting these in so you don't end up with a crooked wobbly um, shelf when it's all said and done. Make sure everything's lined up. Using this to get the proper right angle. Ready to put in the first screw. Alright. I'm going to put in one screw and then I'm going to put in the next to make sure I have proper right angle for this piece as well. Lines are still set up. I'm paying close attention to the lines I drew on the wood and I'm getting it as square as possible. I'll put in one screw. Try and go straight up and down as you push this in so it doesn't set crooked. And you don't want to countersink these screws too much because you'll notice they're three inch screws. If you go too much and countersink them, you're going to come through the other end. So now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to jump down to this end and put in my next, the bracing for the next shelf. And I like to start from one end to the other to ensure I have the square, um, square shelving as much as square as possible because if I kind of look from my, this way down I could end up with a uh, shelf that is not square from one end to the other. So start with this side, make sure my line is lined up, everything is nice and even. And set the next screw. Keep it straight the whole time, double check, we're screwed in. Move just a tiny bit, make sure we're still lined up. Yeah, we're good. Um, but I think it jumped a little. Whenever, don't be afraid to back it out. If you ever feel it stuck, back it out because you want to make sure you're completely straight as possible. Because you don't want to start screwing all the pieces together and find out it's crooked. So it moved a tiny bit. Real careful and keep it as tight as possible, getting that first screw set in, to make sure nothing moves and you stay straight. Now you can always uh, use C clamps and clamp your stuff together once you get your lines set up. That takes a little bit longer to do, it might be more accurate, but this works fine too. It's not like we're building a house, we're building a shelf, so it doesn't have to be 100% accurate. So now I double check. Angle's good. Angle's good. Go on this end, check it again. Angle's still good. Thing will still good. Now I'll add my other two shelves in, and screw those in, and then we'll do do the same to the the other side. Alright, so now that I have the two ends of the shelves, we're going to connect the four, the four foot wide pieces to each of the ends to build the rest of the frame. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to take these eight four inch pieces that are going to go to each uh, uh, of the shelf levels that I've created, and I'm going to pre-position uh, my, my screws, at least two screws in here, so it will make it easier as I start to piece it together. 
have you talked about kind of you want to better understand now um, the position that I why I drilled the holes where I did. So when you add this piece to the end, you'll see because two screws will go into that 21 inch brace and then other two screws are going to go into the six foot two by four standing that way. So I'm going to preset all the screws in here so they're easy and as I go to piece it together, I don't have to worry about trying to hold a screw and hold the frame in place. I can just zip the screws together. Okay, we got all of the four foot lateral pieces with two screws set per board and so now we can get into piece the shell together um, and screw it together. Alright, so now what we're going to do is, is connect the rest of the pieces for the shell. Um, you can do this with, if you're doing this by yourself, you can find unique tricks to help hold stuff straight. So that's what I like, that's what I do most of the times. So I'm going to take a C-clamp and I'm just clamping this to my table so I can hold it in place. And I less boards to try and focus on holding while I'm uh, attaching the other sides together. Now, I've got this, uh, this is a box I use for CrossFit for uh, box jumps, but it also kind of becomes a workbench for me as I'm building other things. And actually I have another video of how to build this box if you're interested in making one of these. So now, we're going to take each of these and they're going to be attached to create the uh, the four foot length of our shelf. Get my proper spacing for this. Let me go over a few more inches. All right. So right now. Once I start to piece these together, it's kind of hard to hold it, get the right angles, and make sure it's not crooked when you're doing it by yourself. So what I'm going to do is fasten one of these, and I'm not going to focus on making sure it's straight, because I'm just going to be using it to hold the two uh, pieces together. Uh, and I'll try to get them as straight as possible, but my main focus here is just to get it attached to hold it, hold it together. And I still want to make sure it's lined up the proper distance. I'm just not focused on the 90 degree angle at this moment. So if I got one board that is lightly sunk in to hold it in place, and as I said before, I'll start with from top to bottom to get these lined up as, as square as possible. Alright, so I was able to get the top piece on, got pretty good 90 degree angles, and now I'm going to do uh, the bottom one, get it set in, and then I'll do the bottom and top on the other side, and then I'll add the middle row. Then I found it easier once you start adding all the side pieces in and all the additional screws is to just lay it on the side and it makes it easier to start uh, screwing those in and it's a lot quicker. Alright, there's all the framing is now complete on the shelf and now we got to put in the shelving itself. If you look at the very top, you'll have one sheet of your a 2x4 pieces that's going to sit right on top. However, the other three shelving pieces will have to have grooves cut out and you'll need these grooves because 
it's going to extend the shelving piece will extend out to right here and right here so we have to cut out the notches on these uh, two by two by four sheets of plywood so we'll have part of it extend here and extend there I measured out the spacing to be able to have the shelf sit right here and what, what I recommend is that if I'm not going to tell you the dimension I'll tell you the dimension I use but I recommend you measure it just to see where the grooves need to be cut when you do your do your own but what I did I measured it out it's a uh, five and an eight this way three and an eight that way but I got to cut out a chunk here cut out a chunk here it'll leave this portion protruding out so when my board sits it'll extend past right there I'll just take my saw cut out those pieces should have I pro on, but maybe those are my famous last words. Sometimes laziness is when you get injured. So don't, I recommend you put I pro on. Cut all those pieces and the board will be ready to slide in. This is how each shelving piece will look as you cut it and you'll drop it right in and it'll set perfectly in the grooves. Alright, this is the first cut we did and you'll see how it slides right in place lined up. And now with the top piece, it will not have the grooves and it can easily slide so the top piece I'm going to screw in. This piece doesn't necessarily need to be screwed in because it's locked in place the way the grooves are. Now it's kind of tricky to plop this in. you got to kind of come down from the top at an angle and kind of twist it to get them to set in. Um, so you work, work for either the bottom or the top. Um, once you remove the shelves and you're all set and done, we have the top screwed in and you need to take the shelves off. It's easier to go from bottom, bottom to top. But we'll cut the other three, get them set in, and then put the top piece on, screw it in, and then our shelving will be complete.